Oh, yes, everybody. Today, there's no great sword, but there is ranged great sword. Ah, I know. Bow. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, as I bring you my first rise set for a weapon that has always been dear to my heart ever since its introduction in Monster Hunter 2, when I tried my best to make it work because I loved the notion of hunting with a bow. A hunting bow, it makes way too much sense. But I could never quite get the hang of it back then. Since then, I have dabbled and dabbled, and in World and Iceborne, Dragon Piercer only builds captured my attention. But in Rise, I have committed myself to actually getting good. Though, of course, great sort, you will always be my number one. I love you. It is okay. I know. I will always be here. Go, frolic, express yourself. I'm proud of you. <laughs> what? What am I doing? And I'll admit, I am quite pleased with the results of both my practice and this, my first, not only beautiful to look at, not only incredibly fun to play, but unbelievably powerful bow set. Even if it is just a little bit, let's say, off meta. But let's be honest, off meta sets tend to be the best ones, are at the very least, the most entertaining. And the reason that I know that this set is actually really good is because, well, I mean, I, I know Monster Hunter, I can tell how fast it kills things and the damage and compare it to other actual meta bow sets. But look, that's the boring answer. I can tell that it's good because, uh, well, me over here with my eighth ever bow hunt, yep, yeah, what you're seeing is my eighth ever rise bow hunt, I absolutely destroy Teostra despite making a fair few mistakes. Sometimes forget to keep coatings on. Don't judge me, please. I have such low self-esteem. But ultimately, I am very proud of the run that you are seeing to show off this lovely set. Right, so what are we actually doing here? Well, it's a super aggressive, super close to the monster, super high risk reward, intense spread bow set. Using dodgebolt for little Malia attacks to slide in there between your shots and generally putting it all on the line for absolutely insane damage. Now, generally, spread is the weakest of the three shot types. Rapid is reliable in every situation, it's just good. Pierce is also just very good, though spread doesn't completely get outclassed. In a perfect world where every shot lands every arrow on the weak point in critical distance, spread will always do more DPS. However, that doesn't happen most of the times. There are a lot of monsters though, like Rajang or, well, Teostra, in which spread is definitely the way to go, given they just have big, easy to hit weak zones, in this case, Teostra's big ass face, Hello. that you can comfortably camp next to the entire hunt. But make no mistake, right, we're talking percents difference here. This will work swimmingly on any given monster you really want to, just like with all bows, you're gonna take some time to work out where you should stand and where you should be shooting and how aggressive do you feel comfortable being. In any case, I need to at this point tell you the inspiration for this. It's the Camellios bow. It's a goddamn spell book with a scepter. I saw this and I was like, I don't care how good or bad this bow is, all right? I, I don't care. I need to make a set for this. I need to make a layered set for this. Which I did. Look at it. Is it not glorious? Goddamn magic blast bow sorcerer. I mean, look, normally the layer, the visuals, the theme of the set doesn't so much matter as the performance. But you cannot tell me the idea of being a magic blasting shotgun bow, which, by the way, has a sword during dodgeball instead of an arrow. So, yes, we're going to be stabbing the monster between shots. Tell me that's not just awesome and making you want to play this already. Oh, but as it turns out, I got lucky because the Camellios bow is actually a fantastic bow. 220 raw is really decent and it's got spread level 4 on both its charge 3 and charge 4, which is also really, really decent. In fact, this along with the new upgrade of Rampage from the update has essentially saved spread as it had no good options before this point. So thank you, Camellios. Seriously, thank you. <coughs> 
So, given we're using spread, given we're using not element, how have I actually built this set? Well, when you're building for bow, there are a few things you kind of have to include that are just too good to ignore. Bow charge up coming from the headpiece from the arena, the feather, is essentially mandatory. It lets you get an extra charge level, which is a huge increase. Charge levels 2, 3, and 4 all have motion values over at least one times, so you really want to be camping them for as long as you can with your dash and shoot, dash and shoot. Ideally, staying at level 3 and 4 for as long as your stamina management will allow. Next, you really should be having the shot type that you're using get its maximum skill to compensate. So in this case, spread we want level 3 spread up then we have to actually address the stamina because boy this bow is hungry for it and you need the sweet spot of around constitution 4 coupled with stamina surge 2 that about is where it's at to not feel completely crippled by running out of stamina and without breaking the flow of the set after that, you just want to kind of fill in what will make it pop. Elemental attack for elemental bow, or weakness exploit, an actual attack, maybe something like evade extender, and also quick reload, and basically this is where we got. And really, it's just very, very solid. We have that con 4, we have that stamina surge 2, we've got 50% affinity thanks to weakness exploit, the attack boost is at the sweet spot of 4 for the percentage boost, and a few little bonus skills to really make it sing. There is so many one slots in here that I've put in free meal because why not with the bow really? It lets us use our dash juice for longer when we have a 45% chance not to actually consume it. Reload speed is great so you don't have to have the little animation to put on your coatings and the really nice thing about this set is it has one free two slot to do what you want. I have used it on a single rank of evade extender because I use dodge bolt with this and dodge bolt without evade extender is really, really underwhelming. You only need the one rank, but it really does make a difference. The decorations then are a fairly hefty list that we need. We have to get two tenderizers, we need two spread decorations, and then finally the jumping jewel itself. The rest are just the level ones. The talisman, I will admit, is a particularly lucky good bow one. You serious? Two constitution, a weakness exploit, and a three and a one. Yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with with this. I, I can't deny, but you don't need something quite as bad. But you still technically should be aiming for at minimum two of the skills this set needs that require level two or above and a level two slot. That's about the absolute lowest to still not completely cripple the build. Then it's time to switch to our switch skills. Aerial aim, because it's just a lot of fun and it's really quite powerful. In fact, it's ridiculously powerful, though with spread it is definitely less good because you end up so far away from the monster a lot of the time that you're out of critical distance because the critical distance, and that, for those of you that don't know, is how far away you can be from a monster before your shots start doing less damage because you're too far away. It's basically you got to hug the monster for spread if you want max damage, and when you launch yourself into the air, you're certainly not hugging it. But it's still very good in the right situations. The two main ones though are dodge bolt over your normal dash. Dodge bolt essentially is a very much lower iframe yet you will counter a attack if you time it correctly move that covers less distance but also comes with a bonus little melee swing as you do it. So when you are using a shotgun close range build anyway this makes the perfect sense because you get to dodge bolt through attacks to level up your bow, you get to get in extra damage between shots from the melee slice as you go, and basically it just lends itself to this really fun, aggressive playstyle that spread itself demands from you. Then we have ourselves absolute power shot instead of power shot. This is because, again, we're playing spread. We're going to be close to the monster's face, and this means we can absolutely blast it with five hits of stun damage at once. Spread is king when it comes to absolute power shot because of how many times it hits the face with each shot. You can rack up the KO damage actually wonderfully. I get on average two to three KOs a hunt, which is a 
lot of damage to be putting on a monster for free when you can just sit there wailing on it while it flails around. I mean, as you've been seeing in the footage, the damage that ends up being pumped out here is absolutely wonderful. So that's the general playstyle. You get up close to the monster's face and you dodge around it, keeping there, shooting it, shooting it, shooting it, doing the normal combo of get up to charge level 3 and 4, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, power shot, power shot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, power shot, power shot, over and over again, using your coatings, managing your stamina as best you can, and just absolutely burning it down in a hectic, all or nothing, monster or me battle to the death, and it just feels so, so good combined with the fact that we have this amazing theme of the magic Camellios bow blasting death from the scepter and book. Oh, and also Dango should be mentioned as it's quite important for bow. You can literally get Dango Fighter, which is an extra 20%, I believe, reduction on your stamina cost, which is obviously fantastic. And you can also get Maxman for a chance to do more damage when you volley, which is very, very good too. You all always want to get these two and probably use it with a ticket because otherwise the chances of actually activating them are incredibly low. Now, all of this said, if you use the Rampage Bow and make this exact same set with it, except you swap in an element and get the element attack up as best you can, it will do slightly more damage. Just because there's so many shots, an element is obviously very, very good in Bow. Because of it, you will find maybe about a 5% increase, but it's not that big of a deal. The advantage to the Camellios Bow is chiefly aesthetic, but also the fact that you can use it equally as good on every monster in the game. You don't have to keep changing which element is on your weapon or making five different sets with the same bow. Though when comparing it to the Rampage bow, despite everything I just said, you also do have to realize that Camellios does have the extra slot on the weapon, which you could use for an extra attack instead of the Evade Extender, which helps it compete even more. And you also have Poison and Paralysis, which is very nice utility. The Paralysis more so as it gives you quite a lengthy amount of time of just free ridiculous damage and honestly that might be enough to close the gap. Though that said, the Rampage Bow is just kind of ridiculous. It's almost best for everything you can do with Bow. Fire, at least, Ratna Kadaki gets involved, but Rampage Bow is just kind of silly good. But that said, what this boils down to is it is an incredibly fun, aggressive way to play Bow with this magic theme, using switch skills that aren't normally used, using an arrow type that isn't normally used, not using element, which again isn't normal, to have this still ridiculous ridiculously strong. I mean, I killed Teostra in eight minutes, which for someone who is new to the bow, it's really, really good. You could totally get this down lower and lower and lower, probably easily five if you actually know what you're doing. So the fact that it uses nothing, which is standard as far as bow is concerned and is still so good with such a good theme, yeah, I had to share this set with you. I really, really did. And I hope you have enjoyed, well, said sharing of it. Let me know what you thought, let me know if you'd like to see more good bow stuff, but until next time, like you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you soon. A good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.